Mm-hmm. Parang isang magulang na mm-hmm. inalagaan mo pagka baby mm-hmm. hanggang sa elementary school, middle school, mm-hmm. high school, college. Minsan talaga hindi mo hinihingi ito, binibigay sa iyo eh. How do you deal sa mga team members mo or loan officer mo? Sa mga pasaway. Pasaway. Anong ginagawa mo? Experience really is the best teacher. Alam naman natin 'yon. Learn learn from someone who've done it. Hello everyone. Hello. This is Elizabeth Velasco from the Velasco team of Remax Gold. And this is Alvin Reyes with Supreme Lending, guys. Hello, Hello Alvin. Alvin. How are you? Welcome to our 10th episode, episode of Bye Pinoy sa Tate. Grabe, 10th na tayo ngayon. Oo nga, just ko ang bilis. Tent, oh. Kailangan mag-giveaway tayo sa ating 10th episode. Dapat diba? ba 10? O sa gawin na natin 20 kasi 10 na ngayon eh. <laughs> okay, right? pwede rin. Pero, okay. pero I, guess, I guess today, since it's our 10th episode, we're gonna have a, a very nice topic. Eh. Okay. it's uh, ito, I think this uh, is gonna be like, um, ano ba to Venting session? I, I wouldn't say venting session, <laughs> pero kind of like, uh, kind of like tell us. Mga the, challenges the natin. Challenges, yes. challenges really what, where yeah. we are at this point okay. in what we do. Diba? Yes. Very, so, very, you know, I wouldn't say personal, pero I think uh, it's, For everyone to know as Correct. well. Correct. Oh, oh. Actually, uh, for all our listeners and viewers, mm-hmm. ang topic namin today is, you know, how is it becoming a team leader? Oh, oh. So like myself, I'm a team leader of, you know, eight agents, mm-hmm. uh, na realtors, na, you know, sales team na tinatawag, mm-hmm. which is the Velasco team of Remax Co. Uh-huh. in real estate. And Alvin is Ako a naman, team leader. Yeah, I have a branch that I ran, which uh, I have six loan officers under my belt. Right? Okay. Again, pretty much the same thing. I, I run the office and I lead them to the daily uh, uh, business uh, situation or whatever transaction. So again, it's a very magandang topic to kasi at the end of the day, kasi Elizabeth, For instance, ikaw, gano'ng katagal ka na sa business? Yeah, I've been in the business for 16 years. 16 but years. I was a, a solo agent yeah. for about 13, uh, no, not 13 years, for about 12 years. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ako din. Ako mm-hmm. din, I've been in the business for almost 18 years, di ba? 18 years, And okay. And years, three years lang ako nagkaroon ng branch na gusto kong mag-run ng sarili mong team. Sarili mong team. Mm-hmm. So very recently lang din, yes, di ba? Uh-huh. And like, What you're saying, Tayo, I self-producer, you know, yes, all we do uh-huh. is produce. We, we basically were our, our own team. Wala yes. kaming, wala kaming tinutulungan, wala kaming ginag-guidance, sarili lang kami. So, what we want to talk about is, ano kami napunta sa sitwasyon namin ngayon? And yeah. now, now, we're leading or we have a, like a sales team under oh, under our belt. Paano kami nakapunta ron? At yes, bakit gusto correct. namin gawin to? Kasi hindi naman madali. Exactly. <laughs> ang hirap. Yung, kasi, parang, parang, parang may mga inaalagaan tayong mga Para Parang may mga anak, mm-hmm. di ba? Worst pa minsan. Oo oh, nga, mm-hmm. sinabi mo. Worst pa minsan. So for me, what really made me decide is yung anak ko right after uh-huh. he graduated college, mm-hmm. uh, sabi niya, Mom, uh, You know, uh, I'll go ahead and help you with the family business. Tama. And then nag-decide siya na, oh, okay, maybe this is for me. Uh-huh. So, I didn't have a plan kasi Tama. ang alam ko lang naman magbenta ng bahay. Tama. So, how do I know? I need to come up with standard operating procedure. Right. Uh-huh. I need to come up with, you know, uh, mga guidelines, uh-huh. checklists, uh-huh. all of that. Business yung, planning. Oo, oh, business yan? planning mm-hmm. from start to finish. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I was able to like kind of implement that, you mm-hmm. know, like para kabang may tinituruan na kindergarten uh-huh. from start to uh-huh. finish uh-huh. on how to process it, uh-huh. di ba? Mm-hmm. What about you naman? What what made you decide to build a team? Yeah, so uh, again, the same thing as well. I've never expected, di ba? Kasi I've always been a solo producer. Okay. Solo flight ako lagi. Like I said, it's it. I've never even imagined that I would be running a team. And for me, kasi, you know, after... Doing this business for like 15, 16, 17 years, just producing. Mm-hmm. Parang, to me, it gave me more motivation every morning. Another meaning ba? Na may umaasa sa'yo. Hindi naman umaasa. Parang, mm-hmm. there's people that I know that I can help, help. And, mm-hmm. and lead. And lead. Yung mga potential lang, ha? yung mga hindi. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> naman na. Sayang lang ang oras. Pero okay. those potential ones that wants to learn, that Correct. wants Oo. to grow. Correct. Right? Mm-hmm. And since I'm in the business for quite, you know, for quite some times, you know, it's a, 
it's a good thing to share na rin eh. Oo nga, parang ipamahagi mo yung mga natutunan mo over the years, oh, oh. yung skills, mm-hmm. you know, ma-transfer mo, oh, oh. di ba? Yun naman ang masarap na pakiramdam, you know? And this is why the reason why I've been doing this for three years, kasi, like I said, it's a new meaning now for me to wake up every morning, not only for my own clients, pero also those, you know, those uh, people, team, team, yeah, team under, that relying on you, yeah, you know? relying for your guidance, yes, di ba? And someday, ang goal din naman is sana mas maging magaling sila sa akin. Correct. They'll have their own wings and fly. Then, and hopefully by that time, sana pagka-retire na tayo, hindi nila tayo makalimutan. Diba? Correct. Yung naman correct. naman importante. Yes, diba? correct. Right? But how do you, I mean, how do you deal with, you know, um, disappointment? No. And also, yeah. you know, yung uh, tinatawag na, o oh, sige, ito, i-go-grow ko to, pagagalingin ko to. Mm-hmm. Pero once na gumaling na sila, oh. syempre, they're uh-huh. gonna leave the nest. Tama. How do you deal with that? Uh-huh. Di ba? Parang, mm-hmm. para bang, maybe because uh, you could trans, you know, you could actually relate, mm-hmm. parang isang magulang na mm-hmm. inalaga mo pagka baby mm-hmm. hanggang sa elementary mm-hmm. school, mm-hmm. middle school, mm-hmm. high school, mm-hmm. college, mm-hmm. tapos mag-aasawa na sila, alis na Tama. sila. So how do you deal with that? Parang ganun eh, as a team leader, di ba? I love the question. It's the same thing, Elizabeth. Mm. You know, uh, accept mo na na lahat dyan, hindi mag i sa sa'yo. Oh, permanent. May isa o dalawa dyan, lilipad mag-isa. Correct. Right? They're gonna leave they're, the they're nest. Gonna, but, but you know what? The bottom line, sana kung lumipad silang mag-isa, is that they're gonna be looking back saying, this guy right here taught me how to fly. I know, this was my mentor, was di ba? Yun lang naman. Okay. Again, in, in, hindi mo talaga pwedeng sabihin sa kanila, dito ka lang eh. You know? They're mm-hmm. gonna have their, number one, they're probably gonna be better than you. Right? Correct. Number one. Number two, they're gonna have their own path. Correct. Right? But it, mm-hmm. they probably wanna be a team leader next, you know, in their, on in their the own. Oh. Correct, so, in the future. So, hindi mo sila pwedeng ikip na, hey, dito ka lang, you know? But then again, like I said, at the end of the day, the fulfillment, the, the, the new meaning na, alam mo, you're, you're you're creating someone to be better and and maybe teaching them on their most potential is a different it's a very different feeling mm-hmm. rather than just closing another deal for your own diba? correct right? oh, oh. so yun, yun naman ang feel ko rin na like i said accept it the way it is right and hopefully yeah ako naman what really warms my heart okay. is like pag nakikita ko yung transformation yun. diba Tama. like yung, yung you know like katulad ng anak ko he was a shy boy he never yeah. held a job Tama. I mean Tama. never and becoming a realtor was his first you know I mean first job oh, yeah. I wouldn't say first business talagang dumiretso na siya so be, uh, by becoming an entrepreneur yeah. and I remember my son is like he's so super shy na kahit katabi mo na siya, he won't even say hi to you. Ganun oh, wow. siya ka mahiyain. And then, um, and then, being able to see him, how he transformed from yeah. becoming a shy boy to, True. you know, like, a, 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 what we call a, a master marketer yeah. or, yeah. you yeah. know, a really good realtor yeah. Yeah. or a top producing realtor here in Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, it really warms my heart. Yeah, yeah of course. Yes. Of mm-hmm. course. Because, you know, somehow, you, you, you are big, part of that day, right? You're a big part of that growing. Yes, right? oh, oh. We're seeing that potential of him, no? Um, like, like I said, sa akin naman, um, totally, hindi ko na-expect na mag ako ng, I, actually, I don't like work. I'm solo flight ako lagi, <laughs> eh. Alam mo yun? Pero oh, nga. Du- dumating, dumating sa punto na, again, sometimes this opportunity rin, eh. Hindi naman, hindi, hindi mo naman, Minsan talaga hindi mo hinihingi ito, binibigay sa'yo eh. Correct. And, yeah. and, and, and yeah. if you, you know, find the calling yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, it feels right yeah. and you feel fulfilled, yeah. Yeah. di ba, you know, it, it makes, you keeps you keep going, yeah. and, di ba? And how, I mean, is, is there any other explanation as far as the opportunity for you to make some months better? Di ba? If you have that opportunity, why not, di ba? And yun na naman ang maganda sa sinasabi ko, Ate Elizabeth, na sa trabaho natin, We are all about closing a deal. We have a lot of we have a lot of stress during you know during the process, diba? mm-hmm. But really, for me, at least for me now, being in this business for almost 18 years, new meaning na talaga pag meron kang team eh. So pag so iba. Alvin, mm-hmm. ang tanong ko naman, how do you deal sa mga team members mo or loan officer mo? Some, or team members na mga pasaway. Pasaway. Anong ginagawa mo? <laughs> Kasi syempre, pag, sa, tayo mga magulang, 
di ba kapag ha, paano ba natin din, well, dinidisiplina ang mga anak natin yeah. pero when it comes to business Iba how rin. do you deal with that so, sa akin kasi I have a I wouldn't say a term pero parang a little bit about this stuff um, one is good two is too much three is being stupid na okay you know what I mean like you can only have someone um, do it many times kasi if if they're not following you number one and if they're not uh, believing what you know then hindi hindi mo sila matuturuan correct o nga kasi para bang ano yun eh para bang you could bring water to the horse yeah. but if they don't drink it yeah. you know yeah. well, it's out of your control i can be patient with you but if you don't believe in what i do and mm-hmm. if you don't believe in what i share then then maybe it's time parang ano oh, lost cause oh, talaga, so ano yun you have, let go na you have to tell them hey you know, maybe I'm not for you because I'd rather spend my time to the one that really wants to grow and who wants to listen to me and wants to learn yes diba yeah. oo nga correct kasi kawawa naman yung willing talaga eh diba oo, I'd rather spend na, naaaksaya yung yeah, panahon oh, oras ang pinag-uusapan natin dito and, and our time is so valuable yeah, diba, diba? Yes, alam mo naman dito sa America, time is money. Yeah, so uh, l- let me mm. let me ask you Elizabeth one of the things that I think uh, ang pinakamahirap in running a you know a um, a team, di ba? Uh, for me, I know ang pinakamahirap is is trying to convince them that there's a light at the end of the tunnel if you do this right. If you do this right. Uh, Correct, oo nga. So yes. so yun ang pinakamahirap sa akin. And what about you? Paano mo sila nakukonvince especially nasa sales tayo? How do you convince them? Well, the thing is really oh, set, setting up the expectation. Oh, okay. okay. And then of course in the beginning of the year we do business planning na you know uh, there's a number of transactions, number of phone calls. Oh. A uh, number of open house, a uh, number, you know, number of videos that you have to make. So, ang dami. Meron kaming mga uh, tinatawag na kailangan nilang gawin on a daily basis. Mm, okay? okay uh, kasi, alam, and of course, yung setting the skills. Kasi mm-hmm. importante yun. Um, you know, role play, mm-hmm. um, overcoming objections. Mm-hmm. And really, para sa akin... The best way to build is really bringing your team member to the events at yung master na ang magtuturo sa kanila. Yes, oh, oh. Kasi minsan napapansin ko na kahit paulit-ulit-ulit mo sinasabi, uh. until they hear it from another person, mm-hmm. para bang, oh, yeah, she's right. Elizabeth is telling this us all along. Yeah, diba? Yeah. And we're gonna have that. You know, yes. So, so, oh. in, in some ways, parating may ganyan eh. You Correct. Oh, yeah. but you know, it it really you know fulfills me seeing my team members mm-hmm. being able to grow mm-hmm. and really learn the skills mm-hmm. and growing and getting better at it day mm-hmm. by day. Mm-hmm. So that that's you know for me it it really kala na encourage ako na oh, okay uh, if I could just keep pushing for more if yeah. I could just do one more yeah. if I could do more training if I yeah. could take them more to the field yes, yes. and then at the same time yung follow up okay yeah. anong nangyari sa yeah. appointment mo anong uh-huh. sinabi ng kliyente uh-huh. how are you able to overcome kasi every week we have like a weekly Correct. team meeting yeah. Yeah. so we share our wins yeah. and we share our you know um, uh, what we call a learned lesson of course yeah. diba yeah. so para bang weekly mastermind yeah. na tinatawag very interesting guys kasi uh, mm. uh, Guys, hindi niyo naman kasi alam to. Very recently lang naman ako nakapag-connected kay Elizabeth Velasco, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Bago-bago lang. And have the privilege to to see really how she runs her team and how she runs her business. And I can tell you this, um, is I'm, I'm, I'm one of her, you know, I'm, I'm very admired as well, you know? Kasi na marami rin ako natututunan sa kanya. Yes, um, and I'm, I learned something from you yeah, too. Yeah. And it's good to master my team leader to team leader, di ba? Tama, tama. O nga, kasi pa, at the end of the day, para tayong mga magulang, oh, oh, na para tayong may mga anak oh, oh. Na, yan, na ginaguide, na mm-hmm. may anak na, you know, matikas ang ulo, oh, oh. may, may mm, ma anak na you know, mahiyain uh, o pasaway uh, o may anak na, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> kala mo kung sino, oh, kala mo alam na lahat. Yan. Nandiyan na lahat siya, eh, di ba? <laughs> Para bang you dance with different personality, yeah, yeah, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Pero at the end of the day, 
gusto mo talaga yung makakabuti sa kanila yeah, at the yeah. same time you know yung skills ma build up nila yon kasi once na ma build up nila yung skills then the sale will come yeah. or Tama. the lead will come Tama. or you know yung experience yeah. ba yeah. ano ma uh, anong tawag dito mapapagaling mo pa sila yeah. Yeah. And you know, experience really is the best teacher. Yeah. Alam naman natin yon. Learn, learn from someone who've done it, right? Yes, ganun correct. Naman, yeah. mm-hmm. So I guess sa akin din naman, ganon din naman ang ginagawa ko sa mga sa mga team, you know, sa team teammate ko, you know, making sure din na you know we're in a regular meeting, right? Uh, projections. Right? Okay, how 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 often you do your meeting? We normally do it like uh, at least three times a week. Oh wow, yeah. and dami niyo palang no. meeting well, three kasi, times a week. Kasi I I love I love going number one kasi kasi sa inyo iba yung sales eh, iba rin sa loans eh. Right? Oh nga, ang loans mas oh, more may, like may pipeline, may pipeline correct. call kami, right? Mm-hmm. Meron kami tinatawag na pipeline call, meron kami tinatawag na na kung ano yung nasa underwriting, kung ano yung magki-clear to close mga problem files, di ba? Right? Mm-hmm. We also follow up sa mga accounts like you, accounts meron din kaming oh. accounts sa ibang real estate company, mm. we follow up with their leads. So, at least three times, three times a week kami, pero pagka Friday lang, okay, doon na kami nagpa-follow up sa mga open houses, you know. So, it's very, and also at the same time, mga bagong programs, you know, what we have, new things, what's coming up. So, it's basically just being consistency as well. You know? Oo nga, kailangan kasi, yan. yeah, oo nga, importa- importante yon. Kasi, like, with us, kailangan talaga daily ang mm-hmm. prospecting namin. Tama yan, kasi, alam naman natin, nag-ibang market. So, Be- before, when it was a hot market, uh, you know, your phone just keeps ringing for the deals. Yeah, Ngayon, Wala our phone na. stopped ringing. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan talagang ikaw ang mag-reach out sa kliyente. Tama, tama, tama. And then, to see how you could actually help them, di ba? So, and of course, you know, the money is in the follow-up. Kailangan yeah. magaling mag-follow up. Parang uh, ano rin, if, if you think about it, Elizabeth, mm-hmm. parang, parang family din eh, di ba? Right? For instance, mga anak natin, all the time, nasa social media, nasa telephone lagi, Right? You know, you don't get a chance to talk to them anymore. You have to reach out to them. Yes. Para makausap mo sila. Right? Correct. Oo Meaning, nga. Sa, sa amin naman, sa business naman, the market has changed. But now, the generation has changed, di ba? Correct. Oo nga. The way you communicate with them. Yes. Yeah. Kasi I'm sure, like, ako, most of my team members, especially new agents, mga millennials sila. Y- so, they think differently. Tama. Sobra. You know, they act differently. Sobra. And they process the information differently. differently. Mm-hmm. So, as a team leader, kailangan iba rin ang style at approach mo sa approach kanila, di ba? Meron akong, Uh-oh. you know, team member na uh, baby boomer. Yeah. Meron yeah. akong team member na Generation X. Yeah, I see diba? that. I see that. Or Generation that. Z. Yeah. So, kailangan iba-ibang approach mm-hmm. din ang gagawin yeah. mo sa kanila. Yeah, ganun talaga yun, guys. Parang, like I said, I mean, a lot of my friends ask me, Alvin, ang ganda ng trabaho mo. Nandiyan ka lang sa office, no? Guys, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wala kaming 9 to 5, guys. Ay, diba? totoo yan. Walang 9 to 5, diba? I find myself working uh, 12, 14 hours a day. And even sa bakasyon namin, wala rin we kami trabaho. We still pick up our phone. Yes. So guys, we just want to be able to share you guys yes, what oo. we do. Yeah, yeah. Kasi as a team leader, yeah. hindi lang tayo, like me, hindi lang ako realtor. Mm-hmm. I'm also, you know, an entrepreneur, uh-huh. a team leader. Uh-huh. A realtor. And also I'm still a, a parent. Yeah, still yeah a, parent. a mom, yeah. a parent, and oh. a wife. So oh. you wear so many different so hats. Oh. So ganun ka rin, di ba? Of course. Oh, hindi talaga mawawala. Of course, priority tayo, di ba? Right? Lagi Correct. family tayo. Pero ibig sabihin, I want everybody to know. Kasi pagka marami tayong mga kaibigan dyan, long time friends, Alvin, I, I like it. Nakaupo ka lang dyan sa opisina. Para ka lang, mm. ano pa, banjing-banjing ka lang. Guys, what we do... Hindi In, nila nakikita. Hindi, oh, but we love what we do so much. It doesn't feel like it's trabaho eh. Oh, right? nga, correct. It feels, oh, it, it's just, it's, if it's, you're passionate yeah, of what you do. It's not, it doesn't feel, but it's not, it's not, also not easy. Kasi nga, like you said, we're also, number one, a parents, di ba? May mga parents time. It, then we have to, we have to run our own team as well. Pero, uh, and, and you're yeah. also what? A son and a daughter to your parents. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, now, it's, it, again, you know, it's a, a, lot, um, a, lot, a lot of hats to wear. Right? Yes, yeah. and a lot on our plate. Pero it's all about right, prioritizing. Prioritizing. Diba? Mm. Kaya kayo dyan, mga parents kayo dyan, like I said, I, I guess um, one of our biggest problems, di ba? Ako, biggest problem ko is communicating na with my kids eh. Kasi, parati mm. silang nasa kwarto, nasa computer, or nasa... <laughs> 
Diba? Even eating. Kumakain na nga kayo sa, dinner, sa table. Um, Nasa phone pa rin sila, diba? Uh, right? Okay. Ako naman, uh, the way I resolve that is, when we eat dinner, uh-huh. I have this basket, kinokollect ako lahat ng mga Talaga? cellphone nila. Ay, no. And we always have Sunday dinner. <laughs> Gagawin ko na sana. Ang ginagawa ko, tinaturn off ko yung wifi. Pero hindi eh. May, may, may ano, diba? Oo oh, nga. Pero, meron pa rin, meron may, pa rin silang may, internet. Oh, no, so, but... I should do that. Start collecting. Yes. Oh, oh. So I have a basket like in my uh, dining table. Uh, uh, so it's like, okay, everybody deposit yeah. your cell phone. Guys, if you guys have any comments about that, sabihin niyo sa amin ano yung wasting. Yes, I'm sure you correct. guys are having the same problem. Yeah. And yeah. I really like our Sunday family dinner. Sunday family, yeah. Yeah, so that's the day that we eat out yeah. or m- most of the time they come to my house, mm-hmm. yung son ko. Uh-oh. And then uh, you just have yes, a Sunday uh-oh. bonding. Kayo. Yes, oh, Sunday bonding. So, ganun. Or uh-oh. minsan, pupunta kami sa bahay nila. Oo. That's uh-oh. good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Magbebehan mo. Ito, ma'am, grocery. Ay, well, ganun ha. Uh-oh. Luto niyo kaming kare-kare. <laughs> so, because you miss this Filipino food. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, just building a team is also, like I said, or having a team is like having a second family. Yes, oo uh-oh. nga. Kasi, I mean, you motivate them mm-hmm. when they have like personal problems, yeah. diba? Mm-hmm. We, we try not to really like get into it, pero, you know, we cheer them up, we make make sure that they believe in themselves, Tama. too, diba? And also, you know, we also have fun, yeah. you know? We, we do team bonding, yeah. and uh, I really like it, kasi para bang, kahit wala akong kaibigan, oh, <laughs> parang sila lang naging kaibigan mo, like, diba? Doon talaga nangyayari, yung, mm. yung kusin naman yung katrabawan mo o yung ka-associate. Yung talaga, yun yun parang yung sila na yung kaibigan mo. Kasi you're putting so much time, Correct. you're putting so much effort, you're putting so much love to it. Parang second family na rin eh. Yeah, they are like yeah. a second family. So, so again, at the end of the day, having, like I said, we're talking about this, having a team or a new different of meaning what we do, it feels good na rin eh, kasi parang second family na rin. Even though masakit sa ulo. Yeah. <laughs> kasi ba, ba, may mga pagdadaanan sila eh, di ba? Oh. So, like, like me, I'll give you example. Oh. Like, one of my assistant, uh-huh. used to be my assistant for uh-huh. three years, uh-huh. um, in-encourage ko siya na magiging realtor. Uh-huh. Okay. Eh, kasi sabi niya, oh, um, I don't really like sales. Uh-huh. I don't like talking to people. Uh-huh. Da, da, da. Sabi ko, why don't you just try, you know, just get your real estate license. Mm-hmm. And right now, she's like, okay, how do you like it after about three years? Mm-hmm. You know, three years na siyang realtor. Uh-huh. And she's like really happy. She said, you know, I mean, she's happy and glad that I was able to push her mm-hmm. na nakita ko at that time na hindi niya nakita sa yes, sarili niya. Yes, yun naman yun. And, and, and it makes you feel proud yeah. na para bang, wow, I changed somebody yeah. else's life. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Kasi like at the same na, time Nag-grow na yung bata yeah. Diba? Uh-huh. Well, kasi at the same time din, Elizabeth Like me and you How did we start it? How did we start it about doing this You know our Business, business oh, di, diba? Ganun din naman some, tayo some, Someone actually pushed me as well I don't know about you But I remember you telling me Because Bibili ka ng bahay nun yata Oo oh, nga, correct yeah. oh, Pero ganun din nung nangyari sa akin Someone told me Hey Alvin, you, might, you, might, you must do this You know, since you're in the business already But I'm like, no I don't think so. Pero again, you never really know till someone tells you looking from outside right? or or, or maybe like at, at, at any opportunity. Kasi mm-hmm. pag dumating yan, you should be able to recognize Tama. and just be open to anything. Kasi who knows that might be the path that's meant for you. Yeah, you and you won't know. even know until you try. You diba? never know. Tama yes. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, I'm glad that we had this topic oh, and we were able to talk about team leader team to lead. team leader. Oh, diba? oh. And um, and of course, if you you know have any thoughts of joining real estate, definitely. Uh-huh. You know, it, it's a it's a v- difficult profession, pero very fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, in my end, the man, if you want to be a loan officer, you want to deal about financing and, and all that stuff, you know, like I said, it's also difficult. Wala namang madali eh, right? Correct. Oo nga. But, but you know, it's for me, again, I didn't know it was for me till I really tried it. Eh. Try it. Mm-hmm. Oo nga. Kasi, I'm, yun lang naman eh. Yeah. I mean, just try and you never know. You never really know. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes. So anyway, thank you for tuning nice. in with us and to all our viewers and listeners. Thank you. It, if you have if you have any comments or any topics that you guys want us to talk about send it through yes please and subscribe and follow us right? correct yes. and thank you everyone for tuning in to our 10th episode of 
Bye, Bye Pinoy Satate! Satate.